When you think of the art of the American West, your mind quickly goes to Frederick Remington and Charles Russell, two of the artists who gave us iconic images of cowboys and Indians, horses and stagecoaches, many of the action images of the West of the 19th century. Years later, the contemporary Western artists want to tell even more of the story in their painting. Tonight, in collaboration with Colorado Experience, we bring you the stories of two such painters who have both enjoyed long careers making art. The first, Paul Milosevic, is now part of the art community in Santa Fe, but he started out in Colorado. I grew up on a, a farm outside of Trinidad, and my parents were immigrants. They came from Croatia. In many of his paintings, you can see what Paul Milosevic saw as he grew up in rural southeast Colorado, the wide western vistas framing the farm built by his father. His subjects were everyday sights, but from the beginning, Milosevic was fascinated with capturing the way light and shadow made them appear. Next door to the farm was the Trinidad Town Golf Course, where he and his brother were caddies. As a kid, I liked the cartoon, and, uh, and I would draw cartoons of the guys up at the golf course that I caddied for and worked for, and my brother and I would, you know, imitate them. And, uh, and that's, I think, where I first got interested in portrait painting was, you know, trying to make these guys look like themselves. It was the beginning of a long fascination with golf as he met and portrayed some of the most famous players in the game. He developed a similar affinity for musicians, becoming well known for his depictions of country legends like Willie Nelson. What is it about a painting that really draws you in? It's, it's like, what is it about a song that makes you pull off the highway and listen to it? I don't know. It's something that goes on between you and the painting. I went all the way through the public schools in Trinidad and, and also to junior college. And in junior college is where I met Arthur Mitchell and um, kind of changed the whole course of my life because, you know, as soon as I saw one of his paintings, I thought, man, that's it. A.R. Mitchell was already famous for his Western paintings, used in illustrations for stories in the top magazines of the 1940s and 50s. I started with uh, A.R. Mitchell in 57 and uh, studied with him for two years. <laughs> he uh, wasn't really encouraging. Some, a couple of students he encouraged, and towards the end he encouraged me. In admiration for his teacher, Milosevic helped to found the A.R. Mitchell Museum of Western Art in Trinidad. Today, from his studios in Santa Fe, he can sift through hundreds of prints of his work and see the influence. I think Western art is popular all over the world because, number one, Western movies are popular all over the world. But, um, you know, that, that whole romantic tradition is based on a very short period of time. And it, it just caught on all over the world. And, uh, and so it, it became a theme that artists could um, infuse with their own style. So am I a Western painter? Well, I live in the West and I do subjects that are around me. I like to paint a hat or a golf bag or a, you know, there's a, I did a painting of a carburetor and I think it's really one of my best paintings. <laughs> His portraits, and they are all portraits, he says, all painted from careful observation of real people, objects, and landscapes, 
are now part of public collections across the western U.S. and as far as the Royal and Ancient Museum of Scotland. So it's kind of a fulfillment of what I was interested in as a kid. The question is, am I in a rut or am I in a groove, you know? Uh, I don't know, I hope I'm in a groove. <laughs> What's my favorite? My next one. The next one that I do. You can see the full range of his work at paulmilosevich.com.